Thank you very much for that. By the way, fertilizer stocks are moving up as we speak. RCF, uh, Madras Fert, um, FACT, Mangalore Fertilizer. Pull up the intraday chart of these fertilizer names and you would see buying coming through in the last 10 minutes or so. And Scient is another one. Remember, it also held its investor day on Friday. The stock was subdued throughout the trading session, but now in the last half an hour or so, there has been some interest coming through, not in Cybertech, Scient, uh, the mid-cap uh, IT company, where the company has said that they are aiming for $1 billion in terms of revenues by the second half of FI24. But let's talk more about the markets as well as individual names. Sudeep Bandopadhyay, the group chairman of Indie Trade, is now with us on the show. Uh, Sudeep, thank you very much for joining in. All eyes are on these mid-cap PSU banks. Every single day, you can see the stocks moving up. There is talk that we've seen one leg of re-rating, but there is more which lies ahead. There are more legs to this PSU rally. Um, any mid-cap banking stock on the PSU side, which you would recommend to buy right now at the current levels? Good afternoon, Rima. I think uh, you're, you're absolutely right. There are a lot of excitement in the PSU banking space. Uh, this was on the cards, and we have been uh, for some time recommending buy in PSU banks. Uh, the re rationale was for all of us uh, very clear to see. Uh, the PFSI is definitely expected to do very well, and the results coming out from the uh, most of the banks and other financial services companies have been pretty good in Q2. Uh, I think that trend will continue for the next couple of quarters at least. And uh, considering the valuation at which PSU banks were quoting, they were definitely uh, you know the valuation uh, gap, and this valuation gap is being filled up. Uh, by a lot of buying coming in, uh, in most of the PSU banking stocks. SBI was always uh, talked about, but the other PSU banks were really, really putting at a significantly lower valuation. Now, at this stage, uh, I think uh, Bank of Baroda, Canada Bank, uh, we have seen uh, kind of rallies and they have moved up quite a bit. One banking stock, which hasn't, uh, PSU bank, which hasn't uh, really come up with good set of numbers and still uh, lagging the other uh, large PSU banks has been Punjab National Bank. I think if somebody is a little aggressive investor, I would recommend go and buy PNB. Uh, you know, yes, uh, there has been challenges with this bank uh, continuously over the last few years. Last quarter also Q2 was nothing great, but I think uh, they will uh, turn uh, the tide and uh, I, uh, whether it's Q3 or Q4, they will come back with a decent set of numbers, which probably will beat all of us, our expectations. So if an aggressive investor is still willing, willing to put money in the banking space, uh, uh, PNB is what I will recommend. Okay, all right. By the way, we have some bit of a pullback from the lows of the day. So to highlight a few stock, Indicin Bank has pulled back from the day's row. Let's get the intraday chart out there. Sipla, that's been one of the stronger pharma names, actually. That stock has moved higher as uh, we speak. And Coal India as well, from the days low, well, that's pulled back a little bit. Uh, Sadeep, I wanted to ask you about Coal India. Things are looking up. Coal prices stay elevated. Valuation-wise, even after such a big run-up, depending on how you want to justify it, but it doesn't look very expensive. What's your take on it? The problem is that the government of India could come at some point of time and sell some paper, which is overhang. Your sense at 2.30? You're absolutely right, uh, uh, Nigel. I think, uh, you know, we were writing off these... Uh, Traditional energy companies bit too soon. Uh, the way things are, uh, and before they really the green energy uh, takes over, there is still probably a time uh, of about 30 to 50 years, and that's a very long runway for these companies. Uh, Coal India, as we know, that the biggest challenge was the operational challenges. They don't have dearth of reserves. They don't have dearth of uh, you know capital or the fundraising ability. The challenge was the operational efficiency. If they get that act right, I think uh, there is significant potential for Coal India to move up from here on as well. Uh, now, yes, your point is valid. Uh, you know, uh, some action or inaction by government, which is the largest shareholder, can uh, derail uh, this uh, valuation catch up. And we have to be cognizant of that. But having said that, the way uh, the world is energy hungry now, the way uh, we are looking at energy and energy security at this stage, including India, I think Coal India has a uh, good runway going ahead. So yes, uh, Coal India, even at current thirty levels, can be bought for uh, let's say one year plus four. Uh, 230 on uh, Coal India. By the way, Coal India, I put that piece out on earnings after second quarter and I was looking at earnings expectations and how they've moved for most companies. Uh, Coal India ranks as one of the companies which has seen the maximum upgrades in earnings 
uh, you know, this is FI23 estimates over the last uh, two or three uh, quarters. Uh, the, uh, any, do you track uh, Deepak fertilizers, uh, Sudeep, any thoughts? Uh, up about 8% or so. The news is this deal with Arthi uh, Chemicals, Deepak will provide, uh, I mean, this is a 20-year agreement uh, where uh, Deepak will provide nitric acid uh, to Arthi. Uh, so they just formalized, you know, an arrangement which was in existence in any case for the last decade and a half. Any thoughts? Well, I think, uh, Prashant, it's a good development. Uh, this uh, arrangement getting formalized is good. Uh, they have a secure outlet for their one of their products. But, uh, you know, uh, as you rightly said, this arrangement was already there. So leave aside that. Uh, overall, specialty chemicals have been an interesting space. We have seen a lot of excitement. But uh, in the past few months, there has been sharp correction as well. And post-correction, Deepak was looking attractive. And I maintain my view that uh, some of these specialty chemicals correction has been unwarranted. So both Aarti and uh, Deepak Nitride has been uh, our favorite stocks uh, in the recent past. And at current levels, both can be picked. Okay, that's on Deepak Fert as well as uh, and Aarti Industries on that 8,000 crore contract that the two signed. Uh, Bharti Airtel has moved up. It's up close to about 1.7%. Last week, the company raised the entry-level prepaid pricing from 99 rupees per month to about 155 rupees per month in two circles, Haryana as well as Orissa. Um, it doesn't constitute much in terms of you know, subscribers. It's less than 5% of its overall subscriber base. But the market is seeing it as a precursor to a possible tariff hike. Uh, perhaps the company is just testing waters in two circles and then later on they will extend it to the rest of uh, you know, the circles as well. And that's a reading from the market point of view, which is why the stock is up 1.6%. Here's what we'll do. We'll slip into a very short break. We'll come back and continue our conversation with Sudeep. So stay tuned.